social interactionist theory by Vygotsky argues that language development is both biological and social. Interactionists say that the language learning is influenced by the desire of children to communicate with others. <laughs> so, the social interaction theory takes place between two parties. You have the child or the student and the adult. The adult is what we know as the MKO, or the more knowledgeable other. Essentially, they're the person with the knowledge that they're, you know, dropping some knowledge on them. You can't really have that learning without the other because that is where the learning comes from. I don't know if I made that too redundant, but essentially you have the two parties, and to get into that learning, it comes from the other person. I think I just explained that twice, but essentially, yes. Social interaction plays a fundamental role in the process of cognitive development or learning. So you can't really have that learning without that social interaction. The main criticism of Vygotsky's work is that it assumes that this theory is relevant to all cultures. Rogoff dismisses the idea that Vygotsky's ideas are culturally universal and instead states that the concept of scaffolding that is heavily dependent on verbal instruction may not be equally <laughs> useful in all cultures or for all types of learning. Indeed, in some instances, <laughs> observation and practice may be more effective ways of learning certain skills. So, uh, Vygotsky is very similar to Piaget. They both think that young children are curious and actively involved in their own learning, and the discovery and development of new understandings and schemas. But Vygotsky plays, places more emphasis on social, role, social contributions in development, whereas Piaget, Piaget thinks that children are making self-initiated discoveries. Vygotsky also places more emphasis on the role of language in cognitive development, as well as the role of culture, which was addressed in the previous section. Um, Vygotsky is pretty much the foundation for any interactionist model of language development, and was made public and popular by Jerome Bruner, who made a model of language development in the context of adult-child interaction. Okay, so what does this mean for educators? What does this mean in education? The whole idea of learning at this point then is to interact with people, get talking, get collaborative, share your knowledge with other students. Uh, so the learning model where you're just a sole sort of individual trying to make sense of the world isn't gonna cut it. I mean, you'll get somewhere, you might learn something, but you're certainly not gonna learn as much if you're uh, you know, working by yourself as opposed to sharing ideas and sharing knowledge with the other students. I mean, everyone has knowledge. They bring something unique to the table and when you get the chance to share that with people, uh, who knows what you're capable of learning. And technology can really help us do this. We have social networks, we have Twitter, uh, professional learning networks. If you keep these updated and you keep sharing your ideas, the knowledge is just gonna build and build and build. So. I've uh, got to give it up for Vygotsky. He, uh, he knows what he's talking about, trust me. Give a wink. I did wink. Oh. <laughs>